There once was a renowned Zen master who lived atop a serene mountain. His wisdom attracted seekers from far and wide, all yearning for enlightenment. One day, a proud and learned scholar came to visit the master, hoping to debate and showcase his knowledge. As the scholar reached the master's humble abode, he bowed respectfully and began to boast about his extensive studies, philosophies, and the numerous books he had read. The master listened patiently, nodding occasionally. After a while, the master invited the scholar to sit and offered him tea. As the master began to pour, he continued to pour even after the cup was full, causing the tea to overflow and spill onto the table. The scholar, bewildered, exclaimed, Stop! The cup is already full. No more can go in. The master smiled gently and said, Like this cup, you are full of your own opinions and preconceptions. How can I teach you Zen unless you first empty your cup? The scholar was stunned by the simplicity and profoundness of the master's words. He realized that in his quest for knowledge, he had forgotten the importance of humility and openness. He bowed deeply and asked the master to teach him. From that day forward, the scholar approached his studies with a new perspective. He learned to listen, to be open, and to accept that true wisdom often came from unexpected places and simple truths. As he continued to learn from the master, he found that the greatest lessons were not in the books. He had read but in the act of letting go and embracing the present moment. The once proud scholar became a humble student, discovering that the journey to enlightenment was not about accumulating knowledge, but about emptying the mind to allow true wisdom to enter. And so, the story of the empty cup, Zen Master, reminds us all that to truly learn and grow, we must first make room in our hearts and minds for new ideas, perspectives, and experiences. Only then can we begin to understand the deeper truths of life.